hey guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell from the title today's video is another entrepreneur video i told you guys that i wanted to take you along on this journey with me starting my business and i wanted to record almost every single thing so i finally made gloss for the first time and i want you guys to see how i did i think i did pretty well let's get into this hair though this hair and makeup i just did my makeup for fun i didn't film it i kind of wish i had a but i didn't film it this hair is from nadula i will link it down below if you want to check it out if you have not already go ahead and follow my instagram page at samshay underscore go ahead and follow my business page as well at samshay cosmetics go ahead and click that subscribe button if you have not already and let's get straight into the video okay guys so the first thing that i'm going to do is spray down my working area right here i'm using bleach and water in the future I may resort to using disinfectant spray and or wipes and I'm just taking a paper towel and wiping it down I wash my hands right after wiping down my area and now I'm applying some gloves so as I mentioned earlier this is my first time making lip gloss so I'm just taking a paper bowl and I'm using this lip gloss base from TKB trading and I'm just putting a little bit into the bowl Please do keep in mind that I'm making this gloss just for me so that I can test it out and see what I need to change, what I don't need to change, etc. Now I'm adding some coconut oil. This is the uh, organic liquid coconut oil and it's clear. And now I'm adding some peppermint oil. This is safe for both the skin and hair. The last oil that I'll be adding to my lip gloss is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is not clear and I was hoping it didn't turn my lip gloss into a different color, but it did not as you will see at the end. Vitamin E oil claims to boost circulation in the lips and it generates new skin cells and it makes lips softer. It also is used to relieve chapped and dry lips. So I will be using vitamin E oil in all my glosses. So I am adding more Vergicel to my mixture. I feel like I didn't have enough. And because I added more gloss base, I am adding more oil to this base. Since this is my first time making lip gloss, I'm trying to see what works best for me. I see a lot of people use knives to stir up their lip glosses. I also see some people using spatulas, and I also see spoons being used as well. As you'll see a little later on in the video, I will switch to a spoon because I feel like the knife didn't really stir it the way that I wanted to. So as you can see, I did get the spoon and it did a lot better than the knife for me. I was able to stir and mix it a lot better with the spoon and also get the gloss that were on the sides. So I think I'll be using a spoon from now on. Um, also, I think I'll be switching to glass bowls as well because the paper bowl, um, it was a little bit too flimsy, even though this is like the good paper bowls, like the expensive paper bowls. I do need something that's hard and sturdy and something that's not going to break. And I felt myself grabbing onto the bowl a little bit hard. So I think I'll switch to glass bowls in the future and here I'm just adding some more oil because this base is a little bit too thick for me so I'm trying to thin it out a little bit although I do prefer thick gloss but this is a little bit too thick so we're adding just a little bit more oil to thin it out a little bit So this process is really just trial and error. You have to pour in a little bit of oil first and then mix it and see if you want more or if you don't. So that's why I kept adding in 
all as time went on because I found that I needed a little bit more but it's always best to add in a little bit at a time because you can always add in oil if you don't have enough whereas if you add in too much you won't be able to take it out so that's what I was doing here just trial and error and guys I felt like I was mixing my life away there's a lot of mixing of course if you want your consistency to be perfect which I do of course so I'm just mixing, adding oils, mixing. It's just a tedious process, but it'll be all worth it in the end. Okay, so now it's time to put the gloss in the tubes. So I'm cutting both ends of the pipette off with some scissors and this is just gonna make it easier to put the gloss into the tubes. As you can see, I'm going to attach it to the end of the syringe and I'm gonna take a piece of tape and tape it. I want to make sure that all my gloss is in one spot so that when I go to put it into the syringe, it's easier to get most of it. So I'm taking my spoon and I'm placing it into the syringe. And I apologize that I'm not in the frame, but it's, it's kind of hard to record and make sure that I'm in the frame. But as you will see, I'm going to take the knife and kind of push it on down in there. So I do prefer the knife when it comes to putting the gloss into the syringe just because the knife can actually fit into the syringe, whereas the spoon cannot. And I'm going to attach that little push thing back into the syringe and we're going to push this gloss out. So I thought this would be the easiest part of making gloss and it's actually not for me. Um, it, I think the hardest part for me was just trying to make sure that the gloss, I got gloss all in the bottom. I didn't want to miss any spaces. I didn't want to have empty spaces or bubbles, but eventually I get the hang of it. This is my first time. Also, I had the syringe too deep into the gloss because when I went to take out the syringe, um, I noticed that I could have put some more gloss into the uh, tube. So yeah, I just gotta be mindful to not put the syringe too deep into the gloss because it's taking up space that gloss could be. But I also didn't wanna put too much gloss in because I've heard of stories where Girls have put too much glosses into the tubes and then when they went to put the stopper in, it was just a big mess. So I didn't put too much gloss in, but I don't think I put enough. I didn't fill it all the way up. Here I'm just wiping off the stopper because I don't like messy glosses. And I'm putting the top on and I'm going to wipe off that as well. And I'm just going to put the remaining of the gloss left over in the syringe into another gloss tube, which wasn't much. I pretty much wasted a gloss tube, but it is okay because these gloss tubes tubes are cheap super cheap on Amazon <laughs> pretty well for my first time i think the hardest part for me was just trying to see or decide for how much oil i wanted in my lip gloss base also as you saw in the video i stuck the pipette too far into the gloss so when i went to take it out i realized that i had more space for some more gloss so i will keep that in mind as i continue to practice i think i did pretty well let me know what you think down below in the comments i think i did pretty well i love my gloss guys like i cannot explain how much i really do like it i may tone down a bit on the peppermint oil because it is a little bit strong and it made my lips a little tingly which i like but a lot of people may not like that here is the gloss 
And I feel like the, what is it? The vitamin E oil made it a little bit cloudy because it's not as clear as I would like it. Of course, it may look clear to you guys on camera, but in person, it is a little bit cloudy. I plan on, I guess maybe going a little bit light-handed on the vitamin E oil as well as peppermint oil, but this gloss is very, very moisturizing. I wore this gloss yesterday and before I did my makeup and my lips were so soft, so I'm definitely sticking with my coconut oil and my vitamin E oil for sure. I want to test out this gloss on camera, so I'm going to wipe off the gloss that I have on now. The gloss that I have on now is from e.l.f. I do love e.l.f. glosses. I love the formula, how thick it is. I love how pigmented it is. I do love e.l.f. glosses. I do still have a little bit of lip liner left over, but this is what my gloss looks like on my lips, y'all. I'm absolutely in love with this gloss. Like, it is on the thicker side, so I do want to make a disclaimer that when I start selling my glosses or whenever I launch my business, my gloss will be on the thicker side. I prefer thicker gloss. Not that there's anything wrong with thin gloss. I do still wear thin glosses. I just feel like thicker glosses last longer on the lips than thin gloss, and I feel like you won't have to keep applying it all day, and I do just love a thicker gloss on my lips like I, I don't know why I just do I feel like my consistency is good it, like I said it is a little bit cloudy and I'm going to work on that but overall I really do like my gloss I love it actually it smells like peppermint it smells amazing <laughs> If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to let me know down below. I do plan on experimenting with colors and nudes and all that good stuff. Like, I'm super excited, guys. Like, I never thought I would enjoy making gloss. When I was making it yesterday, I was like, wow, I can get used to this. Like, I, I really did enjoy making it. And I can't wait to create new colors. I can't wait to experiment. I'm so excited to launch my business, guys. So stay tuned. Follow my business page if you have not already. It's MJ Cosmetics. Follow my Instagram page at SamShay underscore. And go ahead and click that subscribe button. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next one.